Uh, we got a question here from Orbital Period. Orbital Period, who says, I've had this problem trying to tune my quad. When I do high rate rolls, one of my motors maxes out and I get a big yawing moment. Movement. I tried increasing dynamic idle, but that only helped up to a certain point. After replacing the motor, I think it's an ESC problem. Could it be something else before I spend the money to replace my ESC? An orbital period has here a photo of the black box log. Orbital would be cool if you upload the actual black box log. Although it's possible that by the time you hear this and upload the log, the stream will have moved on. Uh, in the meantime, we can look here at this image that you've posted and we can see that motor, the blue motor, whichever one that is, is maxing out. Um, and when a motor maxes out, the term for that is saturation, okay? They say that the motor has reached saturation. Why do they say that? That's just what they say. When the motor maxes out and cannot go any higher, the quadcopter has reached the limit of its authority. And so I, I want you to imagine a quadcopter that is flat, right? And flat and level. And so basically all four of the motors are outputting the same RPM. Now they're not literally outputting the same RPM because some motors will have a slightly higher KV. Some will have a slightly lower KV. Some will have, so they'll make slightly more or less thrust based on just sort of random variations in the prop and so forth. And so I got the black box log orbital. So there'll be a little bit of variation, but more or less all of the motors are at the same output percent. And then as you raise the throttle, the motors will speed up. And eventually, let's say we've got one motor that is like higher, significantly higher KV than the other motors. So as we raise the throttle and we're just in a straight, flat climb, as we do that, one of the motors will hit 100% first, okay? Actually, it would need to be a motor with lower KV than the others. So let's say we've got a motor with significantly lower KV than the others, and that motor reaches 100%. At that point, the quadcopter cannot, or the flight controller, cannot increase the output of the other three motors. Because the, if, if the goal is to keep the quad in a flat climb without rotating in any direction, then the motors have to have roughly matched output. And if one of the motors hits 100%, the others have to sort of back off. It's like if you were in a, if you were in a, a, a three-legged race where you're kind of tied to three other people. Well, you can only go as fast as the slowest guy, right? So if you have a motor that's, that's maxing out, the whole rest of the quad will have to lay back. And that limits the authority of the quad. Now imagine instead of a flat climb, you're doing a spin. And you're doing a spin and two of the, the right two motors speed up and the left two motors slow down. The fastest that quad can spin is going to be limited by whichever of the motors maxes out first. Now, when this happens in a controlled way, one motor maxes out and all of the other motors just kind of balance themselves out and everything is fine. But when this happens in an uncontrolled way, you can get a sudden like yaw movement like you're describing. So let's go back. Let's take a look at this black box log, which you have thankfully provided. And we're going to look and see if we can find where this happens. Uh, where do we have a timestamp by chance? We do not have a timestamp. Well, I'll just look through it and find it. I mean, and in the chat, if you give me the timestamp while I'm looking, I'll, I'll appreciate that. Let's go to, uh, let's just look at the motors here. Oh, here we go. This is it right here. So I can see the front uh, right motor maxing out here. <laughs> so notice that as the front right motor maxes out, look what the other three motors do immediately. The other three motors immediately back off, trying to compensate and balance the thrust from this motor. So what causes that motor to max out? I see you must be mode one because your throttle is on the 
Are you mode one? Mode two. Why are you, are you pitching forward? Or are you doing a front roll? Okay. What's, I'm confused. You are, you know, that's throttle. You're doing a front flip, rather. Here we go, full, full pitch forward. When we go full pitch forward, we should see the rear motors go to full. What, what, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Why, what is happening? Why are the rear motors, why are all the motors going down? I guess he lowered throttle. So he lowered throttle so all the motors go down, but here we go, we're starting to pitch forward. Now, I see. Now the rear motors speed up. Rear motors speed up, now we're pitching forward. Notice that, that's very interesting to me. The front right motor goes to zero, it idles. And the front right motor now is significantly lower than the others. Now we're, we're rolling forward or pitching forward. Let's get the gyro in here as well. So we can see how the quad is moving. Uh, I want the gyro to be, can I move it down? Can I swap it? Yeah, okay. So here we can see the, the pitch axis gyro. So we begin to pitch forward. We're, we're pitching forward. And I think we're going to see things fall apart when you start to recenter the stick. No. We're still full pitch forward. That's weird. So, oh, that's really weird. Normally, when you have a problem during a flipper roll, the it's when you start to recenter the stick that it falls apart. When the motors go from idle to full. So, what's interesting to me is the quad begins to rotate. And then in the rotation, the motors basically start to slow down. But the front right motor is coasting the whole time. It's not at zero, but it's very low. And all the others are sort of flipping along. And then it goes to max and the whole thing falls apart. I think I know what happened. So I think what has happened is that motor, the front right motor stalled. The front right motor was coasting along at low throttle for whatever reason. Why would it be at low throttle? Well, if for some reason it was making more thrust than the other motors, it would go to idle while the other motors sort of dance around it. Okay? So motor number, uh, the front right motor is making the most thrust and it goes to idle. But then right here, the front right motor stalls. How do we know that? Look right here. Why did the other three motors slowly decrease their thrust until they roughly equal the front right motor while the front right motor stays low? I think the reason for that is that the thrust being put out by the front right motor was originally large. And so the other motors, no, it would have to go up. No, it's backwards. The thrust being put out by the front right motor would be low. It would be high. And the other motors would rise to adjust it. Yes. And then as the thrust being put out by the front right motor dropped, the other motors come down to match it and balance it out. But then the front right motor stalls. And as the front right motor stalls, we see the gyro right here. Look, do you see that the pitch and the roll, the pitch and the yaw gyro now start to lose it. This is the point where the front right motor stalled and stuttered. And in response, the flight controller pushes that motor to speed up now to try to restabilize the quad. But it doesn't succeed right here. The front right motor st stops entirely and then picks up again here and then everything gets back under control. Whenever you see a motor go to 100% like this with the throttle at 0%, that's a motor that stalled. All right, so there's a problem with the front right motor. That's the bottom line. Now, if we look right here throughout the rest of the flight, we do not see 
any other signs that the front right motor has a problem. Like if we saw that the light blue, the cyan tra motor was consistently higher or consistently lower than the other three, that would be like a sign that that motor had a problem. But we really don't. The only time we see that is when we go down to zero throttle. When we're at zero throttle, often the front right motor is coasting along here at the bottom while the others kind of dance around it. And that tells us that that motor is making more thrust than the other three. That's kind of weird. Well, usually a messed up motor makes less thrust, but for the most part, we don't see any symptoms of a problem. But the bottom line is right here, that front right motor stuttered and stopped. And that's usually either a bad motor or a bad ESC. It could be a loose prop, Ralk FPV points out. It could be a loose prop. Now he changed the motor. Presumably the prop is tight. If your idle speed was too low, it might cause this, but I think he, he said he traced the idle speed. I think it's time to think about changing the ESC, although I'm not 100% sure about that.